Mickey Mouse has just turned 90 in 2018, so I made a list of my favorite video games that starred the famous mouse. So grab your paintbrush and pull up your red shorts. This is my top 5 Mickey Mouse video game list. Let's roll. Hey, Epic Mickey was a great game that people liked, but I didn't play it. I did play Epic Mickey Power of Illusion though. It was only released on the 3DS and it played almost like a Metroidvania kind of game. You can shoot using your brush, you can crush enemies with your butt, just like another game of this, and drop certain items in the bottom screen. It would be much higher on the list if it wasn't for one problem. This game is way too short. The game tricks you by showing all of these classic Disney villains. But can you guess how many you actually fight with? Three. Three bosses in the whole entire game. And that's including the final boss. The game itself is a bit slow, but there's a lot of Disney character cameos. And the gameplay is fun, so that's alright. Released for the Nintendo 64 in the Game Boy Color, Mickey Mouse Speedway USA is just your run in the mill racing game with just Mickey and friends. Power ups, unlockable characters, catchy music, all that good stuff. But what makes this special is that it was developed by Rare. I definitely remember playing this game in one of those McDonald's play plays where you could play video games. I like how they were able to make Mickey's ears work in 3D. Sure, it doesn't hold a candle to Mario Kart, Crash Team Racing, or even Rare's own Diddy Kong Racing. But it's a nice little racing game on my favorite console made by my favorite developer. So it's all good. Before Sonic made his Genesis debut, Mickey was the Mega Drive's unofficial mascot. With his game, Castle of Illusion. Starting with Mickey. It was actually developed by Sega themselves, and it was marketed as a first party game. You can throw stuff, swing on vines, and stomp on enemies with your butt. Mickey even has little idol animation, which really gives him character and showing off what the Genesis can do. And what Nintendo don't. This game got a remake back in 2013 for PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. But who needs HD when you have this? Ah! One of my favorite games of the Disney 16-bit era, Mickey Mania was released around the same time as Mickey's 65th birthday. Magic? I don't see no stinking magic. Hi, uh, you missed the spot. It was the first game to have animation made by actual Disney animators, arguably having the best character movement at the time. Unlike Castle of Illusion, where you threw random junk depending on the level, this time you have a sack of marbles to throw. No butt attack though. At least they're still rope swinging. Since this is a celebration of all things Mickey, the levels are based on actual Mickey shorts from the past. There's even little cutscenes with the past Mickeys too, which is my favorite part. Yeah! This game was released on most home consoles at the time. SNES, Genesis, Sega CD, and even a PlayStation port, only releasing the power region. I suggest sticking with the Genesis region for his little touches and for not having loading screens on a cartridge game. I'm a looking at you, Super Nintendo. Made back when Capcom actually made video games. <coughs> <laughs> Magical Quest. Sorry, Mickey Mouse. It's my favorite game that stars the famous mouse. It plays like any other platformer. But you can grab enemies and send them spinning around and around. And Mickey also has three outfits to wear. A genie, a Robin Hood, and a water wizard. All the sprites are well animated and the backgrounds are bright and colorful. Hey look, an apple. Uh, I mean, uh, tomato. There was a GBA port of the game, where Minnie Mouse is a playable character, multiplayer was a thing, mini games were added, and you could finally save your progress. But 
just like other GBA ports of NES games, it's a little bleach out. So just stick with the SNES version. <laughs> and that's my list. There were some other Mickey Mouse games out there, but these are the best to play by far. Well, that's all for now. And remember kids, if you see a mouse in your house stealing your cheese, don't use a trap, give him a little slap. <laughs> no. See you in the road.